Good day. I'm Dr. Dan Jones, past president of the American Heart Association and professor of medicine and physiology at the University of Mississippi Medical Center. I'm here today with Dr. Paul Welton, who is the chair of our new ACC AHA blood pressure management guidelines. Dr. Welton is former president and CEO of Loyola University Medical Center and now is professor of global health at the School of Public Health in the School of Medicine at Tulane University Medical Center. Dr. Welton, welcome. And let's talk a little bit about people who are older than you and me. Uh, <laughs> perhaps one of, the, one of the more controversial areas of our new guidelines will be uh, how to manage patients who are in the older age range. And we have some new things to say in the guidelines, do we not? I think this is one of the most exciting areas of the guideline because we have a lot of new evidence. It wasn't available for those who were writing the prior guidelines. And now we know from a lot of clinical trials that treating, starting the treatment at a much lower level than was recommended before, and we recommend anyone who has an average systolic blood pressure of 130 or over should be treated. And treating to get their pressures below 130 we now know from a lot of trials, Sprint being a great example, that one, they benefit dramatically from reduced cardiovascular risk, from reduced death, and they seem to tolerate this treatment very well. They don't get a lot of falls and hypertension, which is what, of course, we've worried about. So that, it's really exciting. Now, I'm not naive enough to say whenever we treat, we've got to be careful, especially when we're doing intensive therapy. We've got to monitor carefully. We've got to, as clinicians, be ready to adjust as needs be. But this is really exciting because they're a very high-risk group, and they benefit disproportionately from treatment. Some, some clinicians, uh, when they're treating uh, patients who are in the older uh, uh, age group, and they're trying to get their blood pressure lower, sometimes make a point of measuring the blood pressure standing in the office. Is that useful to, uh, to, to consider orthostasis or orthostatic mm -hmm. hypotension? I think it's a good idea. Uh, what's really important is to understand symptoms. Mm -hmm. Does the patient have symptoms? If they're standing up and they're symptomatic, I would take that a lot more seriously than uh, a drop in blood pressure. And the guidelines call for backing off of the medication if the patient's having orthostatic symptoms. Is that correct? Yes. I mean, we certainly suggest careful monitoring. And we have to be especially careful in the type of patients who haven't been included in clinical trials. So nursing home patients, those who were not well enough to be in clinical trials. But the general experience we have from those clinical trials is most Older adults are going to do very, very well, and we want to keep them healthy. We want to keep them out of nursing homes. We, we want to keep them fit, active to get to their granddaughter's wedding, uh, all those special events that we look forward to. Yeah. So uh, what, what would you ta say to the clinician who has never taken a patient over, let's say, 75, below 160, because they believed, well, that's the blood pressure that patient needs? Well, I would say the evidence doesn't support that approach. Uh, the evidence now, which wasn't available before, is very strong that those individuals benefit, and they benefit in a fashion that is much greater than younger individuals because they are at high risk. Say so that so, one again now. That, one, that one's important. Yeah, they, they are at very high risk for events because of their age, and they benefit disproportionately from treatment to reduce their blood pressure compared to a younger person. So this is one of the empowering things as clinicians that we can do to help our patients to stay healthy. One of the wonderful things about new guidelines is new information that really has some evidence behind it that leads us to do a better job of managing our patients. And uh, getting blood pressure lower in our older patients is going to be a great way to lengthen lives and improve the quality of life. Dr. Welton, thank you so much. My pleasure, Dr. Jones.